Hey, it's a regular guy. Man, I just, uh, I've been off the net for a little while. I've been away doing some other training, but you know what? I was off today and I went out to my friend Jerry's place and was training and I was actually testing out uh, a new plate carrier that I got. Some of y'all may be familiar with the, uh, the MEPC Mission Essential Plate Carrier. Uh, I'll put a link to it on the bottom, but uh, this is not going to be a review about, uh, you know, what kind of uh, threads they use and, you know, what's the tensillary strength and all that. It's just uh, my overall impression of it, so I'm going to try to keep it pretty quick. Uh, overall impression, I'm going to say I like it. Um, biggest reason is it's comfortable. It's easy to put on, which I like. This is my first time using the uh, Cumberbund system. I mean, some of y'all out there may have had it. I mean, it has a pretty easy connection. It's, a, it's almost like a little Z that just goes in here and it locks in and i mean i am gonna have to loosen up my cummerbunds a little bit because i got them a little bit uh, a little bit too tight when i had a bunch of magazines in them out there training uh I'll tell you what just take, take a look at the video All right, see, so I was out there training. I don't know, it just makes it a little bit too tight and uh, it's not hard to breathe, but I can see if you've been running a long time. But I was wearing it for a couple of hours, uh, all my equipment, including my helmet and everything out there, just testing to make sure I didn't have any hot spots or any rub spots and whatnot. Uh, biggest thing right off is it's super comfortable. So I do like that. The Cumberbund system holds it tight to my body because the other plate carrier I had just had some steel plates in it. And uh, I'll have a review on the, the different plates I have in here now. Uh, it, I don't know, it was kind of moving around all over my body. Um, this one, I mean, you can take your front rack off right here, and I'll talk about it in a second, and just use your normal cummerbund system. It just Velcros in, but I kind of like the quick detach. Uh, while I'm here, the only thing I don't like about the quick detach is, see these little tassels right here? As you're running around, you can hear it just kind of hits on stuff. Some people, that may not be a big deal. I mean. Um, I, I come from the military and we're all about, you know, silence. You, you kind of do a little bounce test and all of a sudden you hear stuff just dinging around. Um, you know, I'm probably going to actually take this little tassel off and put some, uh, 550 cord or something through there and then braid it just so it's another quick release or something. I mean, but that's just me. I mean, that, that's a tinny thing there. You know, I don't really think about it. All right. As far as the uh, placard. It has, you can run it slick like this right here, or it has an assortment of placards. I got the three placards that uh, Velcro over the top of it. And I have the ones on the uh, the short. They have like a long and a short. If you have long, it's either gonna be sitting down here or these clips actually are very intuitive. You can work them further up and down. I like mine right where it comes from. Uh, actually, I might have moved them one slot difference. I don't know, but the, you just kind of work them out and redo it. But this is where I like my magazines hanging. Um, I got two mags up front and I uh, just got a radio in here. I may put it somewhere else. I was just testing it today to see if I like it right there. And um, some of my radio equipment, uh, I'll do another video about that and where I got the push to talk switch and how I had to modify it and stuff. But uh, back on this, the magazines are held in place very well, I have to say. Um, it's just kind of an elastic. They're not as easy to index. You can get them back in there pretty easy, but uh, because they hold so tight with kind of the same material as the cummerbund right here, I don't know, it's just, it's not like a solid thing. You can just kind of work it in and it will still index fine. So uh, the cummerbund, it holds two mags on each side and uh, there's another place for something else further in the back. Back here, if you can see like a tourniquet or something, it's not big enough to hold a magazine, maybe a pistol magazine. Um, I thought about trying to put a radio in it. I've heard some people have done that, but I don't know. It just doesn't seem like running the radio there would work for my setup. I mean, it might, and there's another mag pouch right there, but you, you can feel the magazines here. So I would not, if you're gonna be walking for eight hours with this thing on, I'd probably find somewhere else to stow the magazines. Um, I'd put them on the front rack or somewhere else. I mean, they're not uncomfortable, but you, they are noticeable if you have your cummerbund pretty tight, which I mean, mine's fairly tight. So maybe I just had it too tight. But uh, other than that, the plate carrier itself, it does hold your plates really good. And I'm gonna take it off and I'll show you, I'll show you uh, where the plates go in. Just to make it easier, I'm just gonna take the uh, back plate out. All right, so I just took it off. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get it off. Start off here at the bottom. Just got a little piece of Velcro flap that 
a lot of things, that's the only thing they have in it. I mean, but it, it's a pretty good sized piece of Velcro, so it holds very good. It has another little elastic strap in here that holds it in. So I'll do another review on my plates and stuff. But uh, this pocket, it seems like it will hold multiple size plates, including like the uh, uh, 10 by 12, which is what that is, and that's the shooter cut. But there's no real bag or anything in here for it. It kind of just sits in there. But this other strap right here goes around it and then hooks to the bottom. So you can kind of tighten it up as what you want. I mean, it seems like there'd be an even better design out there for this kind of thing. But, I mean, to be honest, this one held it pretty good. And I was laying around, bouncing around over there. And then I just run it all the way through and just put it as tight as I can and then just kind of close up around it like that right there. So then it sticks to where it's supposed to. I'm trying to keep it in the camera where you can see it. And then your flap goes under and I bring it up pretty tight. I mean, it's not going anywhere. There's really no, no room for it to go anywhere. All right, now that we got that closed back up in there, um, if you look, I'm gonna move my cummerbund out of the way. This mesh material, forgive me for not knowing the technical term of what this kind is, this is one of the most breathable fabrics that I've had on any plate carrier system. They are a little expensive there. Uh, defense mechanism, they make this uh, mission essential plate carrier, but it did take like two months to get it in. But you know what? I gotta say it was worth it. This same mesh here, it comes with these shoulder pads and the shoulder pads are actually not uncomfortable without the shoulder or shoulder straps are not uncomfortable without the shoulder pads, but the shoulder pads, they are definitely money. These are very soft and it made it seem like I was wearing air. <laughs> I'm not uh, no vendor or anything of theirs, so I'm, I'm gonna tell you what I actually think. Um, you've got some other webbing up front here that will hold another, uh, you can put your Velcro patches on there. You can put, you know, some kind of placard or whatever one on there, some kind of other magazine pouch. To me, I don't, I don't need anything up there right now. Um, you get some kind of admin pouch right here. I mean, I got nothing in mine, as you see, but I mean, you, look, I can fit almost my whole hand in there. So that just shows you what will fit in there. Maybe fit a trauma pad or something in there. I don't know. But uh, there are several other things. You have Velcro on the front of these uh, placards. All this stuff is a la carte, I have to say. You have to buy the plate carrier. You have to buy the cummerbunds because there's different sizes and different kinds. You have to buy your placard that you're going to wear, and there's a couple of different things on that. But you also have other things you can put on the front that go with it. So there's this kind of, uh, basically that's the best way to say it, a la carte, and you pick what you want. So here, I'm going to remove the camera and we'll get back to my uh, recap on it. Mission Essential Plate Carrier overall assessment, I'm going to say it's a go. I, I'm going to go with it. I'm going to keep experimenting stuff with it. So far, I like it. Um, it's very light in itself, and I guess a lot of it's what plates you have, and I have some lightweight plates in there. I have some uh, lightweight level four plates in there. They're actually uh, they're only they're exactly five pounds each, uh, so they're 10 pounds for the two plates. So I could definitely tell a noticeable difference. It held them secure, and they weren't flopping around, so that's always pretty important to me because I'm always moving around quite a bit. Uh, I do like their placard setup. I was unsure about the cummerbund when I got it because I've never run that type style of cummerbund. Uh, it holds magazines. They were not the most comfortable, but they were not like uncomfortable. Like, oh, I'm not putting any magazines in here. Uh, I think I just have my cummerbund <clears throat> a little bit too tight. And I think I'm gonna loosen the cummerbund a little bit and that should take care of that. The other thing um, I didn't that I did not like was these little tassels that hang right here on your cummerbund system. Uh, they just, as you can hear, I don't know if you can hear it in the camera or not, they just knock around and you just keep hearing a constant tink, 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 tink. I mean, it may not bother you, it may bother me a little bit. Um, shoulder pads, very comfortable. Uh, you got a lot of molly webbing and stuff. You can order the slick back or the webbing on the back. I'm like, hey, I might put something on there, so why well, box myself into a slick? It does have the drag handle and everything on there, so overall, I like this setup. I like that it's modular, that you can order it a la carte and basically tailor it to you. So the cons on it are kind of expensive. Uh, it does take a while to get it in. It takes like eight weeks to make it because you pick your color and what you want on it and every size cummerbund and everything else, what kind of placard you want with it. Uh, so that does take a while. Uh, but as far as, you know what, let's go with the pros. Uh, the pros are very comfortable. 
very lightweight and it feels like it's meant to last. So I don't know, I know that's a quick assessment, but you know what, I just got back in from, uh, I was testing out some stuff and I thought, hey, while I'm getting my equipment out of the car, let me make a quick video. So I hope that was helpful for you. And you know what, like, comment, subscribe. If you like it, click the like. If you don't like it, click the don't like twice and uh, share with your friends. That's a regular guy's opinion.